If you recall from our last conversation about public relations, there's really two forms of PR that are out there, this proactive versus the reactive forms of public relations. Here, let's talk about proactive public relations. And what do I mean by proactive PR? These are really our day-to-day PR activities that help us to build a positive brand image. So if you're working in public relations, really most of your time is going to be spent trying to come up with these positive uh, image building kinds of PR strategies. And we have a couple of specific uh, things that we can engage in that are considered active PR strategy. The first is cause marketing. And we've seen a lot of this around and just the examples that you can see right here, um, you know, uh, the breast cancer awareness with the pink ribbon, um, Tide is involved in its Lows for Hope, and then this um, Buy Red program. Uh, more and more brands are recognizing that consumers appreciate brands that have a strong corporate responsibility, that feel like they are part of a community, brands that want to improve the world, that want to give back uh, some of the profits that they're pulling out of the marketplace. We also have a huge trend these days towards green marketing, and some of this uh, is associated with sustainability, which many corporations will have on their vision plans. Um, you know, they claim that they have a very strong attention to being sustainable, and more and more customers are also starting to mandate that brands share the same level of environmental concerns as they do. So you see brands like Toyota, um, Coca-Cola, and uh, Greenworks in sp uh, specifically are really emphasizing this idea of green. And you know you don't have to look far to see a green appeal in today's marketing day and age. And these are great ways to connect and to resonate with consumers who feel strongly about the environment. Sponsorships are another proactive form of public relations. And oftentimes we tend to um, really uh, strongly see them in terms of sports, right? So NASCAR is a huge uh, sport that is almost completely funded by sponsors. Um, the NFL, Major League Baseball, Major League Soccer, pretty much every sport is going to have a huge uh, opportunity for brands to sponsor either teams or specific events, um, etc. We also see that music, uh, along with all sorts of other things, allow, uh, allow brands to reach out to consumers and to really connect with them through um, lifestyles uh, and, and pastimes that they appreciate. Um, you see the Black Eyed Peas, so music has a huge opportunity for sponsorship, uh, etc. So there's a lot of opportunities out there. Finally, we have events marketing. And you know, it's sometimes hard to distinguish, well, what's the difference between events marketing and a sponsorship? A sponsorship is basically paying uh, a fee to attach your name to an event that's managed by somebody else. Okay, so when, um, uh, uh, who was the brand we just saw in the NASCAR? So when Best Buy does NASCAR, Best Buy doesn't um, manage any of those NASCAR races. They just pay the sponsorship fee and they're done with it. Um, when we do events marketing, the event is really owned by the brand. It's run by the brand and it's marketed by the brand. Um, a brand that's really great at events marketing is Red Bull. You see here they did their Red Bull Stratus where you know the guy went up in a spaceship and uh, did uh, a freestyle jump uh, and ultimately parachuted back down to Earth. Um, Red Bull also does this kind of yearly uh, event where they challenge people to create their own flying machines and to kind of launch themselves off of a pier and see if they can fly and bring the, the tagline of Red Bull gives you wings uh, to fruition. Um, Red Bull is also awesome in uh, sponsorship. So they sponsor the Red Bull um, uh major league soccer team uh, here in the tri-state area and they do a variety of other things um, also the avon um, breast walk is uh, an interesting uh, events marketing example which also walks us into cause marketing and illustrates to us how all of these proactive um, strategies whether we're talking cause marketing green marketing sponsorship marketing or events marketing all of our positive PR, proactive PR can really be integrated.